Hey folks, my name is Travis one Welcome back to Sonic X Shadow Generations. In the previous episode, we tackled the first two areas of the game, Green Hill and Chemical Plant, and now we are going to move on to the next couple in the game, starting with this area, which I believe this is going to be Sky Sanctuary. If you guys are enjoying this series, please leave a like on the video. It helps me out tremendously, and I'm ex I'm excited to be bringing this to everybody on the channel. It and I hope you guys are just as excited as me for the release of this game. And yeah, we're we're just gonna keep on chucking along, playing through the game, kind of in in the uh, way that I want to. Kind of just my first time exploring through it, and. Wow, what a jump, Travis. That was probably the best jump in uh in, in the game so far. It like probably on every YouTube channel in fact. And honestly, I kind of thought that like I would have a homing attack. It, that is anything but remotely true. Oh, <laughs> you don't have a homing attacking, uh, classic Sonic. At least unless if there's, like, going to be one that's going to be released at some point. But yeah. I, I've so far really enjoyed this game. It's got some... The physics are good. We'll eventually um, probably play some of the harder stages. I like. Uh, well, of course, we'll be playing the harder stages at some point. But I mean, I gotta say, okay, so that's that's how you work this thing. That's a little strange. Um, oof! I feel like I almost like. Man, yeah, I I will definitely say, the classic Sonic controls are gonna be something I'm gonna be getting used to for a while, um, because. It's definitely not how I've played Classic Sonic in the past. So... So it feels... It, it, in all honesty, it does feel a little... A little different. Um, it does feel a little different than... Um, a lot of what I've played in the past. Ooh. That's a very interesting, like, uh... It's a very interesting gimmick right here. And... So every time you move, you actually go up. Interesting. But, yeah. I will definitely say is like somebody's played classic Sonic his entire life like the controls are they're a little tough to get used to and that's that won't be a knock on the game like I know a lot of people love the controls of this game and And yeah, I I could see myself like really enjoying these controls once I get the hang of them. Was that three different red rings on three different paths? That's kind of lame. <laughs> not in like a not in like a bad way, but yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, the classic Sonic controls will get a little bit of getting used to. The modern Sonic feel really good in this game. Yeah, for sure. Classic Sonic's gonna take a minute or two to get used to. As we get some color and some life into the Sky Sanctuary. And we'll switch into our modern Sonic to take on Act 2 of Sky Sanctuary. And yeah, like, I love, like, like, the boosting mechanic feels really good in the modern Sonic, and I think I'm going to find myself, oh, Travis, I was about to say, I was going to find myself probably finding modern Sonic to be a lot easier, and then, like, I just proceed to die right away, so that's hilarious. What is that jump by me? Okay. I just kind of see what was around the back. Oof. This... This sort of... I, I understand that, uh, this, I do actually know that a lot of Sonic Frontiers, and I, I recently actually just beat Sonic Frontiers, I know I didn't, like, do a gameplay on the, on this channel of that, it, it's based off of a lot of, like, uh, previous, like, so, some of, like, the, some of like the uh, older Sonic stages, like this one, is kind of the way the design looks. Oh, this is not. I thought I was actually just dead. That's funny, actually. <laughs> like it is gonna be it is gonna be difficult to get used to a lot of these controls. Did I really find the one place that you could fall through? That's actually so funny. That is also just totally me in like any video game ever too. That is hilarious. So I'm sure I probably could have actually just done Awesome. I apparently homed into that. <laughs> oh dang it. I, I have an old controller, so sometimes it likes to get uh it it's got a little bit of like Joy-Con drift. And that that's just what's gonna happen with a Switch controller. That's for sure. Okay, Sonic. Let, let's go on. It, like, the one, so, I definitely have to say this. I have to say that I suck at the game, especially after seeing that. Um, the graphics. Look, the graphics look so good in this game. And... And, like, I mean, they look incredible. And I know that they looked really good in, like, the previous generations, too, from what I understand. Okay, I think I want to do this. 
I held the other direction. But yeah, they... Like, they... But the thing that I was... Really looking at was just like... Just how good they are in this game. Like, holy cow, man. They look absolutely gorgeous. So... And... Like... It is kind of crazy to, like, see how the graphics have, like, just improved over the last, like, decade or so. Oh, like, I have seen some, like, clips of the old, um, of the old Sonic Generations, and, like, I mean, even that game looked good, but this is definitely a nice and welcome, uh, This is a nice and welcome update to me. Like... Did this... All right. Nice. Yeah, this game actually feels pretty cool. Like... Controls, I definitely need to learn a little bit more, that's for sure. Yeah, look at this. And here we are unlocking, not necessarily unlocking, but saving Knuckles. Thanks for the help. Not that I needed it. Now let's get some payback on that monster. <laughs> get in line, Knucklehead. All right. Hmm. <laughs> What is that place? It's so white and creepy. I've never seen anything like it. Challenge act gates have appeared. New challenges await you in each act. There are five challenges each in acts one and two for a total of 10 challenges. An icon is shown next to each challenge act gate that shows what kind of challenge awaits you. Oh, that's cool. So we'll probably do that at some point in time. But that is for a little bit of a later date. Um, and we're just gonna continue to progress. Find three boss gate keys to unlock. There's a boss gate in fate the boss. You can get a boss gate key by clearing one challenge act in either act one or two. Okay. So, I was gonna say we're gonna I would like to wait a little bit on the challenge acts. But that seems like that's not really gonna be an option. So, it looks like we're gonna have to be going through some of these challenge acts. So, we'll start here. Reach the goal before time runs out. Okay. So we're gonna do our initial speed running test to see, see just how good we are. And S rank is at 1 minute and 10 seconds. That was one of the worst jumps I've ever seen in my life. Um, and we're not going to talk about the fact that I just did that two times in a row. Um, after already having the worst jump in my life in a Sonic game. Cool. Definitely still getting used to the physics a little bit here.
Okay. Are you serious? Okay, come on. I am a professional Sonic player. And we're going to have to be that today. That was a very easy, um... That was a very easy goal. A bonus bell has been added to a challenge act gate. Ring the bell to make a note appear and grab it to add new pieces of artwork. Awesome. So we got that one here. So I think we we can change back. Okay, so it looks like we want to uh, do this at a different date and time. All right. Because we, it looks like we're gonna have to go to each of the. Uh, we're gonna want to go to each of the acts. Okay, so this seems like another one of those speed ones. Which switch is which? Flip the various switches and make your way to the goal within the time. Of okay, we could do that. Maybe they're all time limits. How about we, like, do a spin dash to get up here? Nice spikes! Oh! <laughs> Alright. So, they're kind of like, um... They're kind of like little different like mini games that you're kind of playing with uh, within a game, which, which is kind of cool. Um, I like that concept. Okay, so that switch activated this to the two minute forty S rank. Yeah, maybe at some point we'll do like a. All the challenges video. That sounds actually kind of fun. Okay, it looks like we gotta go hit that switch over there. Okay, we're gonna go down. Oh my goodness, how did I actually not hit the spikes? Okay, so that switch turned off the spikes. Nice, we hit that. I didn't even feel like I hit that switch. That's kind of nice. And I'm sure for like doing like uh, any percent speedruns of this game, I would guess that like they they know the, like the specific stages that um I didn't even hit like the. Uh, switch there. There's specific stages that are probably way faster than others, which are like, um, which are probably the stages you end up picking for the speedrun. Which I think is like pretty cool. Would be like a really cool, like, neat strategy, like trying to figure out what are those like top stages. That was the most pathetic spin dash in like the in like the history of Sonic. Uh, man, I my gameplay has been kind of mediocre <laughs> so far. Am I honestly qualified enough to uh, be speedrunning this game? That's really funny. Okay. So what is this one? Doppelganger race. Face off against Sonic's double and beat him in a race to the goal. Okay, sounds fun. We'll have to collect one for Sky Sanctuary.
And we've just done this stage. But also, like, um... Come on. Uh, this might actually require some serious focus. <laughs> Travis focus coming. Oh my god, that jump was actually so bad. Alright, let's just go. I actually think my doppelganger is ahead of me based on what that is showing. Oh my lord, Travis. Speed shoe might not have been the best pickup. Yeah, actually it looks like they're quite a bit ahead. That's kind of scary. I don't even know how they got ahead of me. That's actually an interesting question. I don't know if this is like the stage that I want to actually be trying a uh, doppelganger race on either because I, I like struggled on this one. Remember this section? Oh my lord. I lost. Dang. So it looks like they're getting there at about 3.33. Okay. We'll go ahead and try again. The S rank is actually kind of like a good idea of what I need to be getting. Which is, which is actually kind of helpful for me. Okay, I guess I'm going down. Oh yeah, I forget that they do that in this game too. They they actually show you like what your uh time is at like how how far ahead or behind you are at certain goal posts. I actually think that's kinda cool. Wow, that was very smooth there, Travis. Now that, like, this this goes to show, like, once I start really knowing what the stage layout is, like, uh... I, I start to really, like, get... I get pretty good at Sonic games, like... Like... It's, kind, it's definitely, like, in my wheelhouse, it's just... I like to enjoy the game first time through, you know? 
Cause like, it's all fun in games until like... Oh, what a amazing like, mistake. Dude, this mechanic is so weird. Like, I'm 27 seconds ahead right now, and, like, I might be on the verge of losing this. <laughs> Come on. I need to not go for secrets. How do they get ahead of me? There's gotta be a way to actually get up there way faster, right? Okay, I'm, I'm ahead of the doppelganger now. Let's go. Done. Oof. <laughs> D rank. Oof. Nah, we got it. Holy cow, that was really difficult. <laughs> All right, we've collected all the boss gate keys. Uh, use them to unlock this upcoming boss gate. And it looks like we are about ready to enter into our first boss of the game. Let's go ahead and jump on in this. Take a good look at yourself, Sonic! Dr. Eggman! It's the last thing you'll see in this world. <laughs> Another Sonic? What? Wait a second! <laughs> We've definitely seen this boss once or twice in uh, Sega history. Death Egg Roadbot. <laughs> Catch me if you can! I will flatten you! Alright. You. I will flatten you. Okay, sure, sure. I will 
Okay. Exactly how am I supposed to give this boss some kind of damage? Aha! So, you're supposed to trick him. Okay. So, we're probably going to end up dying to this, if I had to guess. Got him. Okay, we got. We've given him two hit, two hits. Oh, I guess I was supposed to do something there. Come on. I will black you. And no, you're not. Awesome. Okay, so that that's what we're aiming to do. Gotcha. I see now. So we're going to try to aim at these... Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. What? Okay. I disagree, game. Right here. All right, that took a little longer than I wanted that to. If that's all what that boss was. Nice. Not too bad, but definitely could have done that a lot better. <laughs> no, no, Sonic, save me.
Couldn't have done it better myself. This confirms it. It sure does. Older versions of us. Places and enemies from our past. We're, We're traveling, traveling through, through time, time, Sonic. Without the time stones? It's like that big thing that kidnapped Eggman can consume time. And then it looks like it dragged your friends here. I mean, our friends. You know what I mean. You can now access and explore the next area. Ooh, it looks like we've got ourselves a Chaos Emerald. Legend says that it will cause a mysterious power to emerge. Interesting. I wonder what that might be. Now, is there only one act of this? Oh, there's a hard mode of that. Heh. <laughs> If I change... Okay, so that just seems like it's a classic Sonic boss fight. Interesting. And that will be that until we get into this next stage. So, I was originally going to just do two stages in this episode, but considering that we had a boss here, and it took a good amount of time, I think I'm going to end the video here. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you've been enjoying this, please leave a like on the video. It helps me out tremendously. I am excited to keep playing through this game, and I hope you guys are excited to keep the journey along with me. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you all later.